Greetings. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Well, today we're going to talk about domestic helpers in Hong Kong. So, <laughs> do you know anything about that? <laughs> I definitely know about that. So, but before we ask Michelle about what she knows about <laughs> domestic helpers, uh, last Sunday we went to Central. We took the boys with us and we'll show some footage in a second. But we went to uh, see where all the domestic helpers from the Philippines go to on a Sunday, which is usually the day off. So you was telling me that the the Filipinos tend their ter their territory our territories <laughs> is central central mostly. But there's also yeah. um, in Hong Kong there is uh, roughly one million Filipino helpers. And, is that right? No, one million helpers in total, half of which are from Philippines and half of which are from Indonesia. So the Indonesians go. To, I'm not sure, Admiralty or Causeway Bay, it's in Tamar part. I, I don't know, I'm not really sure. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so, so, yeah. the, so the footage we're going to show is mostly of Filipinos on the day off. In uh, Central. In Central, yes. Yeah. And uh, okay, so we'll <laughs> so so watch that. Here's the footage. <laughs> and we'll see. <laughs> so as you can see there, it's very, very crowded and also uh, we took our children uh, in Jollibee, that's a fast food chain that's very famous in Philippines. That's the, we only have one fast food chain here in Hong Kong, one or two at least, but the most um, bigger or famous one is in Central. So you can see it's very packed. So that's our, uh, our small clip here that um, showing that Peter, me and uh, Felix <laughs> went to that very crowded fast food chain and Jess, did you enjoy the chicken? Well, we all got a bad tummy <laughs> afterwards, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe because of the chicken or We're maybe because sure. of something else, but yeah, all of us had bad tummy <laughs> after we went to Johnny B. Um, yeah. but, it, but it is nice, it is nice. But yeah, like Michelle says, Johnny B is the biggest um, fast food chain in the in Philippines. It's a bit like McDonald's or yeah. KFC or Burger King. Yeah. But focusing mostly on chicken, but they do yeah. do things like spaghetti and burgers, hamburgers as well. Yep. And in Hong Kong, there's just two branches, but they're very popular with the Filipinos. Yeah. Taste of home. And uh, yeah, for our boys, they like going there as well. So only for special trips for boys. So only if we go to Central. We don't go to Central often. We're always in Chun Moon. But uh, yeah, so whenever we go there or I took the children there, I will, um, as much as possible, drop to Jollibee to take them there. Really? But anyway, Right. Uh, I will be talking about not them, but I will be talking about me, so. my life as a domestic helper. Because before anything else, before having my husband, before having children, um, I was uh, working here as okay, a domestic so let me ask helper. A question. Why did you decide to come to, to be a domestic helper? What made you change it? Because before uh, you were training to be a nurse, weren't you? Yes. Um, so uh, before anything, before before I went here in Hong Kong, as you know, that um, develop, developing countries was lacking of jobs. Like um, if you can see now in new generations, a lot of people there in Hong uh, in in Philippines studied or graduated as a nurse, something like that. Uh, or a teachers, but then they will end up working abroad as some um, caregivers or as some um, domestic helpers mainly. So that's my that's my um, point going here um, is to work as a domestic helper, but eventually apply in Canada as a um, caregiver, hopefully. And in my mind, even when I was studying, like a lot of people anyway in Hong Kong, uh, in Philippines, when they are studying there, in Philippines, when I, whenever they graduated, there's a mindset that they want to work abroad. Yep. So, so I want to work abroad. Yes. <laughs> Everyone wanted to go to Canada. It's easy. Uh, it's a very nice country. It's easy country, I think, for most of the immigrants. I'm not sure, but a lot of us wanted to go to Canada. But it's difficult in the Philippines. So. Uh, there is an agency that offering that why don't you work abroad and then apply for Canada? So I said, oh, that's a good idea. So, uh, so it's a stepping stone. So come to yeah, Hong they Kong, call it stepping stone. Come to Hong Kong. You work here for a few years as domestic helper, and then using yeah. that it helps you to be able to apply from here mm. to go to find an agency to, because there's yeah. an agency here that will um, help you to go to Canada. So that's right. the. Thing. So before you came to Hong Kong, mm. were you, did you get any training? I know the answer. What training? Training to be a. Oh yeah. The, so as I will just say it very quickly. Like 
because um for how long was your training for at least two weeks i think but um going here uh or working abroad or applying for abroad in the philippines it's take a lot of money so my father my uncles and aunties they loan me a lot of money just to get here but we pay the agency for that loads of money and then train us train us to be a domestic helper helper clean their um clean their buildings um uh, learn basic cantonese learn chopsticks <laughs> but i never learned i, I never learned that great time. yeah <laughs> um, my even my cantonese wasn't that great oops Peter wants to poo. <laughs> okay, Peter, you can poo. Yeah, go, go on poo, darling. And maybe help take out his shorts. Sorry. Peter's now. Okay, back. <laughs> back because we have two boys with us. It's five o'clock in the afternoon now. That's why Peter is here. Came from school. But anyway, so we did a lot of training just before we get here in Hong Kong. We did like um, training basic cook? Cantonese. But uh, I want to <laughs> tell you the really, really first story working here as a domestic helper. I struggled for the first six months. I was crying a lot. <laughs> like, um, I don't know if I told you this about, but the, I was really crying a lot. And because in the beginning... Who was your first employer here? She's a Chinese. Chinese family. She's Chinese. a Chinese family. How many in the family? Like um, three in the family. One father, daughter mother, and, and father. Daughter. Okay. Yeah. So. so the the daughter is eight years old. So she's quite big, but not. And you got the job as, before you, know. you came to Hong Kong, or when you arrived here? Uh, the agency gave me a job, so I already have. I I already have a help. Um, I employer before I flew here, okay. and then the agency sent me to their house. Okay. So the I came here August. August. Yeah, August. So my first job, I could not fry an egg. <laughs> oh no! Didn't they teach you that at, at, at your training school? I could, uh, did they, they teach did you not teach you that. Like even my mother did not teach me anything about housework. My mother spoiled okay. me. You keep talking. I'm gonna sort yeah. out my children. <laughs> my mother spoiled us. They never. She never teach us doing housework. Just to be honest. But so yeah, the first uh, the first six months I struggle. I could not clean. I could not cook egg, and she shouted a lot because how did I <laughs> how did I apply as a domestic helper when even cooking eggs i can't do it so i accepted that because it's my fault like i really don't know how to work so I, and then she said okay I'll, i'm gonna give you a six months if you cannot if you wouldn't learn then i will um i will um i will terminate your contract so i was really scared because i still have loaned a lot of money from the philippines and yeah, really. And I, it's well, that my, sounds fair. If you can't cook, and you yeah. can't clean. And so you that's, to clean that's cook. completely that's completely fine. But then after six months, it changed. I was really good. Like she's always um saying me that oh you cook a lot. We really love your food. Blah blah blah. Something like that. What you're working hours? Working hours? I work as long as they are awake. So. Really, like they were one time. She had the overtime at school because she teach she teach actually. And then she said. You wait for me until 12, okay? You serve me a bowl of soup. What? So yes, I work with them as long as they are awake. So I just stayed until I my my job finished at 10, 10, 30. I think I finished washing up and cleaning their floors. And then as long as they are awake, I still need to stay. Like even just to serve a bowl of her soup, I still need to be awake. So all the way, it could be as late as midnight, but usually about 10, 30. Yeah. And at what time do you start in the morning? Start in the morning at around six. Six, wow. Yeah. So all day. day. Yeah, do you all get, day. Do, do they give you any time off, like an hour for lunch or anything like that? Oh uh, no, I just stand eating okay. in the kitchen. <laughs> so, so basically, you're working all day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How about days off? Do you get any days off? Oh, she's very bad at giving me day off because um, she said you can't have Sunday because we are busy on Sunday because the poly the following morning my ch my child will go to school so we need you during Sunday so okay that's fine but then she will give me weekdays but only half day and said you can go on Wednesday for half day after lunch okay that's fine and then you come back home at seven but then I'm gonna give you another one half day again to pay you for another for making the whole, day. whole day okay so I don't really like it she's really very bad at giving me days off because even she will give me day off for about half um half day like 
you can go after lunch but she wants me to cook their lunch neutral. you're neutral usually yeah. the help is to get one whole day off of yeah lunch. yeah but uh, it doesn't feel like i was having a rest because she will ask me to cook lunch for them first before i leave and then clean up so eventually i will leave home about two or three and it's just nothing just a few hours so yeah but, yeah. I, but that's, that's, a, that's not normal usually yeah, that's usually, normal. usually the yeah. helpers i was get, i was get, not lucky yeah. and also you I didn't get the sundays off where all the other helpers yeah. do so you didn't can meet yep. up with your friend but anyway yep. you, you did change jobs so so for your other jobs you would get the whole day off um no, yes no i did one. i did for the first time i was very happy i got my sundays off yeah how about public holidays you get those as well i did i did i was i was very happy of my second employer because she gave me lots of days off and she gave me sunday and that's the time i learned partying <laughs> Okay, so what, what do you mean by that? Yeah. Uh, oh, our, oh, this is interesting because for Filipinos, we had we had lots of like in Central, you do your thing like Filipino products. But if you go to the other side, you will do like lots of like not getting drunk, just like partying. So I learned partying. I'm single. I'm free. <laughs> so who cares? I never I never tried that in Philippines. So why not try here? So I made friends. I made few friends. Who, so it's which like are, going to disco. Yeah. It's, it's been going yeah. to disco. Disco, but during the, but during the daylight, like really bright light. What time does it start? <laughs> it starts maybe ten. I think maybe ten in the maybe, morning. Maybe ten, ten in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> so ten ten. 10 o'clock in the morning we're doing rave party <laughs> so but yeah we we yeah we uh, will i learned partying with my friends just partying because i can't drink i i only drink like a glass of thing but then that's it partying completely just dancing having fun with my friends that, that used to be your fun was to go and have uh, your dancing yeah. every sunday yeah that's fun oh i remember those <laughs> And oh, how, yeah. how about longer holidays? But can you ever get a, like a two or three days off at once to go to something, or, or is it only one day at a time? No, after after seven o'clock, after eight o'clock, you have to go home. Okay. Yeah. But you not you would not like getting given a week away because I think if you work for the same employer for more than two years or something, or you can get. Oh that. yeah, after the, after two years, they will send you home. They will give you a free plane ticket, and then you are allowed to stay for two weeks. But that's um that's the um, uh, that's what it stated in the contract. But still depends on your employer if they are generous generous or what. But um the stated in the contract is two weeks. Yeah, so every two years you get a two week holiday to go back to your family. Yeah. So that's that's feel so sorry for parents, but yeah, yeah. So you spend two you years. You only get two weeks for getting, your children. If you if you're lucky, getting every Sunday off and some public holidays. If you're mm. unlucky, like Michelle was with her first job, mm. maybe getting half days and weekdays, half a week. Yeah. Anyway, so you, okay, so you so the, so the things you like were your days off. Anything else? Party. <laughs> anything else? Um, Any, with the actual job, do you enjoy anything in the actual job? Do you get closer to the families? No, never, never enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. What did, did you not like? I know at least one story. You did not like. What I did not like. Okay. The story, a, the story I want to hear is about studying in the kitchen. Yeah. What I do not like being being a domestic helper because um, I think if we if we ever we get a um, domestic helper here, of course they will treat them as a family because they will look after our children. But what I do not like is they won't treat you as a family being inside because they just want you completely rubbish like just sh maybe from other other a lot of employers are good but a lot are <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. my husband is very conservative so she he don't want me to yeah, say bad my, words my, my so i'm gonna cut this. that one so they will um they so we're jumping to this bit here because because michelle said a naughty word are we yeah. And we don't want to say naughty words. So you say that some employers are... Yeah, so some employers doesn't treat their helper as a family. I know that I know there is a lot of help, um, employers that treat their um, helpers really, really nice. They treat them as a family. But based on my experience, I do not like that they did not treat me as a family. Like, they just they completely... Uh, they just treated me as a slave. <laughs> they, yeah, they just treated me as a slave and especially like, as you can see, Hong Kong is very, very small flats. Like even in just one or two hours, you can finish the cleaning. But then, or you can finish your work, uh, it depends on how demanding they are. But then my employer was did not allow me or 
they not allow me to take a rest like so I always stand in the kitchen pretend I'm doing something so that she will not um, find jobs for me or something like that and even when I'm eating they won't let me eat on their table they just let me eat in standing in the kitchen oh, which yeah. is not not really really nice I don't really like those experience so you spend your whole day on your feet almost? Yeah, um, I spend all day on my feet. The only time I sit down is the time whenever I go to the toilet. And I spend some time there so that I can rest my feet. But um, eventually I feel like I was ill. I don't feel healthy anymore. Like my feet are always sw swollen and I can't stand properly. And I said, okay, that's the time I'm giving up because anyway, I don't have a family. I'm single. I don't have a children to feed. I'm um, starving in Philippines. So that's it. I'm quitting. So after one year, I quitted. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, but, so yeah, but, but we're talking about all your experiences in general. So, in general, yeah. Because it's different families. Like the first, the first family was just very cheap. Okay. Just very simple. But, 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 then but, the second one, she's good when she's good she's bad when she's bad <laughs> but then she has a ridiculous huge house it's so different to Hong Kong life she's very posh she's very rich and she has three three floors um, um three floors house with a huge garden and three huge dogs and I can't do that so, so I have to look after, clean up the whole house yeah. and look after. wow very busy mm. but normally where the sleeping where would you be sleeping um, I was just actually lucky because I had my own room. That's in the second one, but for the all the places? For the first and second one, I have my own room. I was really lucky for that because not all helpers get um, their own rooms. But for the second one, yes, I did have my own room as well, but just guest room. But whenever they have a guest, I have to be in the child's room with the child. Yeah, but normally for well, quite a lot of work of the domestic mm. helpers, they'll be uh, sharing the room with the children mm. or they have a very tiny room or one of our friends she, when she came to work she, she was sleeping in the, in the lounge wasn't she? Yeah. So, so yes so the, the, the places in Hong Kong are small so there's very small not much space for, for you to sleep so you've got very little privacy so mm -hmm. even when you want to relax not much. Yeah you can't relax or if, or, or if they are not ready to sleep yet even you're ready you can't sleep because you have to sleep uh, in the lounge. So? But yeah. So, so was there any employers you like working for? None of them. Are you sure? <laughs> None of them. Oh. <laughs> Technically, yeah. the, Michelle's last worker, last uh, last employer was me. But, that, but, <laughs> but that's maybe another story. Yeah. That's, maybe that's another story. Another story. But, but did you go working for me? I did not work for you. I'm your boss, technically. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, uh, my last employer was, was Jess. <laughs> technically, and technically, that's yeah. another story. So that, that's for a different know, reason, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, but yeah. yeah. So anyway, I hope you've got a better some idea from what Michelle's had to say about yeah, uh, domestic so that's, here. That's my domestic helper life for yeah. two years. <laughs> Please leave your comments yeah. below if you've got yeah. any questions you want to ask Michelle about, yeah, uh, about domestic, domestic helpers. Helper. Uh, maybe we'll do another question and answer about domestic helper in future. Mm. <laughs> Including if you want to become a domestic helper, <laughs> you, <laughs> you can help. Yeah, or, maybe for those Filipinas in the Philippines that's watching these videos, if you want to know more about domestic helper, just leave a comment below. I will answer as much as possible as I I think. Yeah, you, you tell them which yeah because good. I'm not much. I, I haven't been um, so active as yeah, you. Don't know the yeah, good I'm not anymore. so active. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, um, before we say goodbye, I would like to shout out to these um domestic helper bloggers. Actually, I found them this week, and I was really happy to connect with them. So I'm gonna link their channels here. So they mostly do cooking blogs, which is nice because they do cook for their employers and share it with the others who doesn't know how to cook. So they are the um, a useful I, yeah. resource for, for lots yeah, of people. Yeah, so I would like to link their channels here. So hello to you and hopefully um, hope that you will um, subscribe to their channel too. So and to us as well. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so thank you very much for watching guys. Um please leave your comment below and subscribe if you haven't. So thank you. Bye -bye. See you next time. See you in Philippines. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.